First of all, welcome to Faith Lutheran Middle School and High School. The Director of Admissions is Mai Choi. You can reach her by email or by the admissions office phone number. You can also email directly to admissions at flhsemail.org and we will have people in the admissions office to answer any questions that you might have. As far as our campus tours and our in-person events and our shadow days, those are going to be postponed for the moment because of the COVID pandemic. We aren't allowed to have that many people on campus and our, because of our hybrid program this year, we can't add additional people into the classrooms. So we're gonna postpone those until restrictions are lifted for the pandemic. And then we will be hosting campus tours again. We will have events again. This is all temporary, we're hoping. So our shadow days um, are going to be on our admissions events calendar, which you'll find on our admissions pages on our website. You'll be able to schedule those. It's a one-on-one -on -one shadow with um, kids in the same grade that have the same interests. We have several student ambassadors that will take your student and show them what it, what it feels like to be a faith student for a day. Okay, so applications open on October 1st. That's the big day. When you log in at 12.01 in the morning on October 1st, you will see um, all of the applications are open and I will show you how to get to those applications in just a moment. Now during our, typically our applications are $50 for an application and testing fee, but during October, you have free applications. We waive that fee. So I would suggest that you definitely get your, your applications in during the month of October, before October 31st, or you will incur that $50 fee. Now, when you go to our website, it's at faithlutheranlv.org. You click on the admissions tab and there's a drop down menu. And then you go to new student admission. That's going to take you directly to our admissions page. When you get to middle school admissions, you're going to click on submit an application and then create an account with Crusader Connect. That account is ultimately going to be your parent portal. So this is something you'll, you'll start now. It'll be your admissions portal and then turns into your parent portal, portal if your child is accepted to our school. There will be an account setup process and then you will have your application to fill out. The application is a 21-22 school application. Um, it's got a lot of information in there, including the ability to upload some of the documents we're going to need for your checklist. You can upload those at the time if you'd like. They are not required. You can always upload them later if you would like to. One mistake that people make is there is a picture upload that is required. So we do require a, a picture of your student. Um, and that helps us whenever they first start school. So please make sure you add that or your application will not go through. Once you add your application, it'll go into our dashboard and then our admissions team will go through the applications and process them. So after they're processed, and I would say give us 48 hours, unless it's a Friday, then you know, give us until Monday, but you will log back into Crusader Connect and you will see a screen with a blue pulsing dot. That blue pulsing dot is not gonna be confusing once you have your parent portal, it'll turn into a full parent resource page. But in the meantime, you will see your child's name in the upper left-hand corner. That's what you're gonna click on to see their admissions progress. This is going to be your checklist when you log in. Now your application will have already been completed, but we will need you to upload, if you didn't already do it with your application, your birth certificate, a recent report card, and that doesn't mean we need your fourth grade report card. If you could hold off until your first trimester or first quarter report card, that would be great because we will need to have at least a first quarter or first semester um, or trimester report card before we start the interview. And interviews don't start happening until January, so you have some time. The immunization record needs to be uploaded. Um, and any recent standardized testing results also need to be uploaded. We know that last year, because of COVID, a lot of schools didn't do standardized testing. We will take the latest year available. A miscellaneous documents is just if you want to send us an updated transcript an updated report card or any updated records. The teacher and administrative recommendation form, those are super easy. All you do is click on the start button and it, you'll put in an email address and the name of the recommender at your current school that is a core teacher and an administrator at your current school. That email will go straight to them. It will be an online form for them to fill out and it will come right back to us. When they return it, then these little check marks over here on the side will turn blue. That's how you know we received it back. Plus you get an email as well. 
you can also register for our entrance exams. I'm gonna go into the dates of those in just a moment, but you can register for those right away. Once all of these items are complete, then you're gonna see the interview um, section and that I will go into in just a few moments as well. Okay, our testing dates. We have four separate admissions pools. So our first admissions pool is gonna be the December 12th and January 9th testing dates. Those kids, as, soon, as long as their checklists are complete and they're interviewed in January, they will be announced of our decision on February 1st. January 30th is our second admissions pool, and those students will be announced of our decision on March 1st. February 27th is our third, and that will be announced um, of our decision by March 31st. And our last scheduled testing date is March 20th. That's our fourth admissions pool, and you will find out by April 30th of our decision. After that, we will have to schedule individual testing days, and we can't guarantee admission because we may get full. We do have financial aid available. For interested families, all you need to do is go back to that website on the admissions tab. There's a drop down menu and you can click on tuition and financial aid. There's all the information you need to know there. Uh, applications open for the 21-22 school year on January 31st. And the deadline for those applications are April 1st. Make sure you get your taxes done early so that you can get that application in right away. It will require your 2020 tax return. There is a, a pool of finances that are allotted for financial aid. It's all based on need, but last year our uh, maximum award was right around $4,500 off of the tuition. So that saves you about $450 a month. Definitely something to look into. Faith Lutheran also accepts funds from all of the Nevada Choice Opportunity Scholarships. I don't know if they're accepting new families, but if they do decide to do that again, then we will accept their scholarships. These blue check marks will tell you if your item has been completed. So these are very important. Sometimes people call us and say, I've done everything, but why aren't I seeing my interview? Well, if this blue check mark next to your teacher recommendation form is not blue, that means we have not received it back. So it is not complete. We do need to have all of that information. The admission, um, ske scheduling your admissions exam is not quite enough. We also need to score those tests and we can't score them the next day. So give us about a week or two weeks to make sure that those scores are complete and then your interview option will come up. The interview, very simple. I don't want to stress out your kids. We don't want to stress out your kids. We just want to meet your kids. We just want to get to know them a little bit through the interview process. You'll interview with somebody from admissions or one of our administrators. It's very casual. It's one-on-one -on -one with your student. And then we bring in either one or both parents at the end to answer questions and discuss next steps in the process. So make sure that you schedule it for your child to be there as well. And make sure they're not nervous. We just want to get to know them a little bit. Our enrollment and activity fee is $1,000. That's for if you only have one student at Faith. There are sibling discounts. So if you have siblings, those are $700 a piece instead of 1000 You can find out our financial policies on that tuition and financial aid page I mentioned earlier. It will explain what all of those fees incur, but it's basically all of your enrollment and registration fees, as well as all of your activity fees for the year. So it covers most of everything that's going to happen on campus at Faith Lutheran, our arts, our clubs, our sports. So all of those things that are covered, unless it's something off campus, like a field trip or some kind of outside club. Our tuition this year was $13,150. That typically goes up 3 to 5% each year. You can pay it all at once in July. You can pay it twice over the year in July and December, or you you can do our 10 month payment option that goes from July through April at $13.15 a month, less any financial aid you might have been awarded. Uh, there's no difference in payment whether you paid all at once or over the 10 months. Most importantly, don't stress out. We're here for you. We love you. We love your kids. We want to make this an easy process for you. And we are here for you the entire time. Call us, email us if you need anything at all.